We are getting ready to leave on our trip to California. Coral, I really hope you're a good girl on the airplane. This is going to be very risky. Very scary as well. Where'd you put her binky, Andrea? So, we are going to Northern California to visit Andrea's family. And I guess go to her cousin's graduation, high school graduation. And I think we're spending two weeks there so she can spend a lot of time with her grandmother who has cancer. And then after that, we're going to San Diego to spend time with my family. My aunt recently got diagnosed with breast cancer. So we're going to get to spend time with her and just take the baby around. Unfortunately, we are not going to be able to make it to Texas this time around. Crazy, right? We plan to go to Texas in uh, December. This time we're just going to Northern California and San Diego and headed back home to Hawaii. We decided not to go to Texas because of A, the expense, B, a little bit worried about being there too early when Nia has her baby and don't want to be in the way too much, and uh, make Nia and Samuel feel like they have to entertain us while they have this newborn baby in the tis ass. And C, this is a lot of traveling for Coral. And D, I have a lot of responsibility here with my church. And uh, I just want to get back for that as soon as I can. Um, also, I started paddling. I would like to not be away more than a few weeks from that. I enjoy it so much. And now I'm on a team and they kind of depend on me. Now I'm just abandoning them for about three races. So yeah, that's about all the reasons. Is that okay with you guys? Or do I need more reasons? Okay then. <laughs> and Coral would just like to say thank you guys for calling me so beautiful all the time. And while she's saying that, she's pooping, I think. Coral, say hi to our viewers. They love you so much. Hi, viewers. You're going to have your first plane ride you big baby huh are you gonna smile say good morning no today's a serious day huh a lot of stuff on your mind no time to smile you're thinking about the plane ride huh me too I hope you're very good ah no hand so last year I had like a really bad um, mildew in my closet, my closet's in the bathroom. Michael has his own closet in the spare room. And so I found this thing called Damp Red and it looks like this. It has all these beads and you hang it in your closet and it's like absorbs on all the moisture and mildew and smell. And look at I took it out today. I think I put it in there like a month ago maybe. Or less than that. Look at that. It's filled with water on the bottom. Those yellow beads stay there. It was all the white beads, but now they're all dissolved in the water. That's right. bad. It's because it's so... We're so high up and it rains here and, like, gets all the moisture inside. So I left a new one in my closet and I left one... I'm going to leave this one on, a, on our closet door over here. Right here. Right there, because I bought this, and it had the the crystals on the top. And look at all the water in there. Oops, hold on. Look at all the what? Look at all the water that's in there. See that? That's just in our living room. Hey, did you pack my multi tool? Yes, I packed your multi tool. Room is done. We're almost fully packed. That's my drone. 
and my laptop, my iPad, and that thing is holding all kinds of stuff. I just recently got this backpack. That thing has my Bible in it, my whole drone, all its accessories, the remote, everything I have that I need on this trip is in that bag. I mean, except this. These are just my clothes. Andre did all that for me. You guys want a surefire sign that you got a good woman? Try to go on a trip with her, and if she packs your bags like that, you got a good one. You got a real good one. So... I saw something that made me realize that this is no regular trip. I saw that thing. What is that thing you ask? That is a stroller. I was getting kind of, you know, happy and giddy about traveling and stuff, and then I saw that stroller. <laughs> and then I just realized <sighs> this is not going to be easy. Let's go have a moment of silence and look at the scenery before we. I'm going to have a moment of silence on a walk. <laughs> oh, Michael. <sighs> look at the scenery. What have I done? What have I done? Right, and she has blue eyes, so it's extra bright for her. She, like, yesterday, she was like this. For like the longest time. <laughs> Coral, it is bright out here, huh? We have blue eyes, and it really hurts our eyes when oh, it's bright. No, it doesn't. I was just telling Toby that yesterday. I felt rude wearing my sunglasses while we were having lunch. <laughs> he has blue eyes, too, though, so he understood. <laughs> Coral, this is your last time, and. I don't know, over a, well, I don't know, about a month that you'll see this pretty view. Now it's just good old regular America. Now we go to the mainland. We're on our way to the airport now, and Jenny was so gracious to pick us up and take us. Well, you're paying me, right? Yeah, of course. That's what Toby told me. Yeah. Yeah, fifty dollars is what I heard. I, I was hoping twenty would be all right. What's that? I was hoping twenty would be all right. Well, twenty one way. I have to go back home. Wow, you are an expensive taxi. <laughs> hey, this is a nice car. And Cassidy's here with us. Hi, Cassidy. Hi, Cassidy. No, <laughs> you're Cassidy. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, viewers. Hi. <laughs> what movie are you watching? What is it called? <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah, you, yeah, you are. <laughs> Will you go meet some family? Yeah? <laughs> Cutie. So already our trip is off to a not so great start. That lady at that Alaska gate was so annoying. She looked through my phone because she saw me recording. She told her manager that I was recording and I just let her look at my phone to see that I didn't get her face in the video. And then I guess I did get her face a little bit so I deleted the video in front of her. But little does she know that that video just goes into my uh, deleted video folder. The video doesn't really get deleted, removed from my phone. I still have the video. Wow. <laughs> and both bags were overweight. We got to board a little bit early with her, so that helped. It was kind of hard to get her on here. Everybody kept looking at her and saying, Oh, what a cute baby. She's so cute. Crow, you are very distracting. How you doing, baby? We got this.
but you have time. You can say hi to her now. Come on, say bye. Thank you, guys. Hey guys, so we're waiting for our rental car shuttle, which is Enterprise. And after that, we have an hour and a half drive ahead of us to where, Andrea? Cloverdale. Cloverdale? Cloverdale. I'm just kind of going with the motions on this. I have no idea what's going on. Good thing Andrea is so, you know, good with this itinerary stuff. Here guys, good night. We'll see you later. We'll try to vlog tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye. First day on vacation and we're at the DMV. What? Here we are guys in a small town called Cloverdale. In California, Sonoma County. Andre and her mom are right there. Andre's gonna go to that tiny post office. And I don't know what it is, but this hillbilly country brings out the, the country accent I have up in me. There it is, Cloverdale, working together for a safe community. Come on. Cloverdale, Cloverdale, Cloverdale. Huh?